Here we are, MMTs and everyone else. Happy December 1st, 2011 to everyone. It's 13 minutes after the closing bell. Our normal market recap on the daily S&P is that this is the calendar month right here. This is that big move really yesterday, but it's still clocked as the last. It's, it's, it's part of November. Okay, so you can see the leveraging up in the headline news and you can see Ben Bernanke's injection with European central bankers and that's the way that it is what does it tell us is yes it's a great move we were on that side of the trade yes it was nice that we had the great short trade here yes it's nice that you've gone up through all the daily moving averages and yes it's nice when I draw a trend line here for everything that we had talked about on the S&P is that um, this that you would get back above this trend line this is the uh, uh, the markdown several days in a row to that support level we never broke below the 1150 we, we did not but nonetheless no December 1 is here and it's on a weekly and this is how it's starting out is that starting out at the higher end of the bar it's a daily bar but you're gonna compound it how many days today is Thursday and tomorrow's Friday even though it's counted as December 1 on the tape but price action wise you want to wait it right to the day okay and what do I mean by that so today's move is today's move and yesterday is the last day you want to make sure that both days there's going to be five days so in the five day breakout cycle here's one day here's here's two days of it one of the things that we did not see was a lot of people barreling in to buy the S&P to drive it up to the 200 day moving average the green line we did not not today we didn't okay however once we get here we must close above it and consolidate it and continue to move higher all right the support levels are going to be all the moving averages all the daily ones that we had talked about over here about the last part of that markdown trend and when you got to the thing about the upside versus the reversal side here is look at the green bars look at how big they are yes they came in one day prints they were both gaps they were both gaps both of these November moves last day of the month and we also had headlines here we had headlines here on 1128 yes we did then we had headlines with Ben Bernanke that were released yesterday on 11:30 to end the calendar month of November on the S&P. We had a slew of economic data that came out that contributed to this weekly movement, but you're above it. So on the way back down, that's going to be your support levels here now, just as they were your resistance levels going up. Now. The talk that I've given on the S&P will also apply to Dow Jones, NASDAQ Comp, and NASDAQ 100. And I'm going to go to the Dow. The same thing will apply here. You're above the daily moving average. That one's looking nice. Here it is, once again, that weekly headline, Fed injection, back above the 200-day moving average, right at the top on day one on December 1 right back up here to that horizontal major resistance level that we talked about this was that markdown bid that's where it started it took out what we were telling everyone on the site uh, day by day with our MMTs here now and live of course is their part of going long this whole move back up here and we had talked about that the upper range in those we're going to be right up there at that 1220 and if you clear it then of course you got to get a closing price above 1230 on that S&P but you're going to have to close above 12,250 here this is the part you're going to have to get above so when we push up here we're going to have to come through here on higher volume 
and it would confirm that fund managers want to buy the tape because now they got the Fed working Europe and they're all in it together in one big bowl of soup. Okay? Look, never fight the Fed, but just remember to be cautionary and looking at everything now as far as all of your price action instruments like buying Google and being up big on the day again. The thing about it is the 200-day simple moving average is here on the Dow. You must close above this area right here. And you got to consolidate, but one of these daily bars on the Dow, when you do go through resistance, that you're going to break that price action of 12,160 clean right through to get to that 12,250 closing price and above, and you have to constructively consolidate price action at these kinds of levels within the Dow support resistances and but most importantly that comes out of our platform so this is just a standard chart and the up days are here you've got to go through the resistances though meaning that you need another one of these bars like right here and you need that that final breakout to take out these highs right here right here and here's 12,230. It's marked before that 12,250 level, this number right here. As a, you know, and we'll keep the same ones here, but here's all the daily simple moving averages. You got a daily buy signal too. That's a public analysis, standard technical analysis for them. NASDAQ comp, here it is. Look at here. You're above the moving averages that we talked about. They started with gaps above. So where, where you had gap downs here, this is NASDAQ comp, okay, daily chart. Here, you cleared all of the simple day moving averages that we had talked about over here. And you had to see that happen in order to confirm that you were going to go up and challenge higher resistance levels within the markdown of the NASDAQ comp. And it starts right here, okay? So once we got here on the gap, we have another super gap and BAM this is all part of you, you can see how the markdown was in the NASDAQ composite and that was that pullback right here this was that channel but look at the gaps the amount of gaps that have happened it's throwing a lot of people wild because they're not they don't know how to deal with this particular kind of volatility yes we've always had volatility in markets however This is more of a high frequency volume computing uh, electronic machine more so in the exchange model today than your natural volume and your natural buy and selling that used to take place before other tools and instruments were implemented in the buy and sell transaction tape as they are. So the thing about it is the wall of resistance remains here. These simple daily movement average have qualified. The breakout here, we will have to close above these right here in the chart right here. This day, it'll be this trend line. We're going to have to get up here and we're going to hit that wall of resistance. We prefer that the qualifier is that you blow through resistance with a buy side tape. What does that mean? That means that the buyers are in through the 200 day moving average as it clears it. The simple day moving average on the NASDAQ comp, you would have broad based buying to run that through there. And all of the NASDAQ 100 leadership stocks would be the key players. You would trade intraday that would also be the ones driving the index up here now. So we have a. Uh, daily sell signal when we had the markdown it's not nearly as bad that's another thing we must have a higher volume update in the NASDAQ composite meaning that to confirm that new money wants to be in the market and that they actually believe in the Fed okay once again it's a worldwide tarp in play 
it really is along with the volatility my friends and it's you know it takes it takes some learning and it takes some teaching I mean teaching you but you can go through it and do quite well and look at there was downside volatility and this is all upside volatility and how much of that price action may or may not be relevant to what the issues are at hand it doesn't matter what matters is you've got to always be looking at the upside bull volatility and the downside bear volatility they both play a key role and NASDAQ 100 hey the big NASDAQ 100 is part of this NASDAQ composite and it will be the one that pile drives that up to that moving average and if that's the case that means lots of stocks go higher Google our, our winner goes higher concluding 12 1 2011 after hours update as far as the Dow NASDAQ 100 composite of course and your S&P 500 from the 1130 November 1130 2011 big breakout with all of the Fed the Fed doing everything that it needed to do everything that we had talked about trained you on over the last 90 days therefore you will not have a banking system in Europe go under there was systemic risk for the United States Federal Reserve to want to get their hands in that pie and those kinds of actions that happened yesterday only happened at systemic financial banking risk level that means either a major worldwide broker dealer was going to go down someone was going to go down otherwise Mr. Bernanke would not have jumped in there and tarped in with the rest of them and what is the conditions of those tarps well we'll find out nonetheless Dow's above the 12,000 psychological mark and we've gotten a slight gain there was no tremendous selling in any of the indexes and the leadership base of the key sectors on the bull side uh, we're making great breakouts you still had a little bit of a breakout Apple's not the same we'll talk about that later but still had a nice up day and so did the Google trade this is the one that we've been featuring there was lots of money Priceline did well on the short side as well again every single day that PCLN trade it likes to come down so NASDAQ composite good luck see you tomorrow morning